Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Well, it's a whole new week with Premier League action back again this weekend, with a few good matchups ahead. There's the battle between the unimpressive big boys, Chelsea versus Liverpool, and the one between the undefeated sides, leaders Manchester City and Newcastle United. But when we left you last week, it was all about the renaming of St James's Park. Understandably, the Newcastle supporters, its community, and even football fans at large were dis- disgusted by the move. An Everton fan commented on the Mob Nation stack of our news item while our regular follower, MD1882, a Queen's Park Rangers fan, feels the way many of us feel about the move. Absolutely ludicrous. Subsequent to the renaming of St James's Park to the Sports Direct Arena, the Newcastle City Council has refused to change the street signs. The Mirror Football reported the council's decision and I particularly liked what the the Mirror Football reported the council decision and I particularly like what the Labour councillor Henry Morrison said. Quote, the football club is part of the beating heart of the city and while the council values its relationship with the club, it has no plans to change any existing wayfinding signs which bears the name St James's Park. And he adds a sentence which I would like to commend the councillor. As far as the fans and the Newcastle City Council are concerned, the home of Newcastle United will always be known as St James's Park. Unquote. Well done, Councillor Morrison. But since all the fuss began, the Newcastle United blog has announced that there are several interested parties to take up the naming rights, especially from the US. One being Nike. Is it to pacify the angst amongst the supporters or could it be true? Only time will tell. But that news has received mixed reactions. On the Newcastle Facebook page in the UK, Jamie Ledbetter is having none of it, while Harry Dalton has conceded to accept the money game that is football today, but professes that it is and will always be St James's Park. It will be a thorn in the Toon Army's side, but I think Mike Ashley will be the tumour that you just can't get rid of. For now. But it will be the business end of things this weekend and we will swing into Chelsea's corner to find out what the fans are saying about their recent lack of form. Many are questioning Andreas Villas-Borch's tactics, decisions and in particular his youth. Uh, that and all the other crucial fixtures this weekend in the Premier League is coming up all this week on Who Has Sports Today. Till tomorrow, have a great start to your work week. But from the team and I, it's bye for now.